Todd, thank you very much. Here with trainer Happy Alter. He brings in Curlin's approval and the Breeders' Cup filly at Mayor Sprint. Uh, Happy, we know that she's so much better than she was two starts back in the Bell Arena. What happened that day at Saratoga? Um, she had a rough time in the, in the gate and uh, banged her leg coming out <clears throat> um, and uh, threw her off on the wrong lead. So we got to throw that one out. And then she came back uh, to win easy, even though it was a, a smaller stake. Um, I used it as part of the prep for this race because we had missed um, considerable training in Florida with the hurricane and the, and the bad, bad uh, condition from the rain of the track. So I wanted to use that stake as a prep, which follows just about a month and a couple of days before uh, the prestigious Breeder Cup. Well, it looks like she's settled in pretty good here. She'll be going to the track a little bit later on this morning. What is, uh, what is the plan today for Curlin's approval? Yeah, Curlin's uh, approval goes to the track every day late. There's less traffic on the track at that time. Um, it would be like uh, you meeting a date for dinner <laughs> and, and, uh, and you said 5.30, she would say there's too much traffic there. Let's go at 7.30 or 8. So less traffic and more the condition that you're going to uh, run in, like the great late Cassius Clay Muhammad Ali went to Manila to fight <clears throat> Joe Fraser and wanted to um, train in the conditions that he was going to fight in because it was going to be hot for the fight. And at the end of the fight, towards the end of the fight, Joe Fraser was weathering and struggling, throwing punches, and Muhammad was going pop, pop, pop. That was it. So um, anyways, um, we go late, and that's uh, some of the reason for it. Happy you've been around for decades, owner, trainer, breeder, one of my favorite horses. You go back in the day with Jolie's Halo. Who did you learn under? Who, who, taught, you, uh, who taught you the ropes here? Um, the late, wonderful man, Frankie Merrill, um, from Toronto, leading trainer in Canada 24 years in a row, leading trainer of the nation four years. And then when uh, he thought I was ready to go on my own, he said, happy graduate school. I said, what is graduate school? He said, I'm going to put you with my friend Horatio Girl. Um, El Senor, who they've written books about, who won the Derby on Decidedly and probably Northern Dancer, one of the most influential horses on breeding in, in, uh, uh, in the century. Um, and uh, when Horatio retired, before his um, uh, step-grandson took out his license, uh, Horatio turned his horses over for me to train in, in, in Florida. Well, happy we appreciate the time, and uh, we'll be checking in later this week. Thank you. It's a pleasure.